Right. Uh, a quick um, kind of, not feedback, but some sort of general overview of what's been happening so far in my head this morning. We're in this beautiful place called Hale in uh, outside of Manchester where I'm just walking on this main road and just have a look what cars I'm passing on the, on this road. There was a Bentley, there was Aston Martin, there was some big, big cars here. And it's very interesting how people think about their wealth. So they express their wealth through cars and houses and things like that. Um, and it often always baffles me how um, how many people kind of want to show this, but kind of not show it. So there was like two ladies um, that I've seen sitting across at the table from us, and they were in Bentley. And I was thinking, this is, they must have a massive chip on their shoulders because there will be someone in their friend's sphere who's got a bigger Bentley, who's got a bigger house, who's got more money than they have. And, and I think it's always like that. I think the, the more money you've got, the more you see other people having more money than you. It must be the case. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. But that's kind of my philosophy. So if you've got a bit less money, maybe you, you're kind of okay with it. But if you start getting big fortunes, I think you're going to start seeing other people having more money than you have. What do you think? Phil is here. We were we were going the wrong way. I thought like Collins, they are parked over there, not well, here. I just realised my train's gone for another 40 minutes or so, so I'm going to go. <laughs> it's right yes, that's true. <clears throat> right. So another thought is that sometimes I've asked Phil, the guy you just saw, who is the um, is his client is every client, so everyone is his client or not? And he said, yeah, pretty much everyone. And I don't think that my client is everyone. I think I'm very specific who I'm working with. And, um, and I think I hope that Phil is as well, because um, your client isn't everyone. And I think the sooner you realize that, the the better you're going to be, but Phil knows his stuff. It's not as I'm going to teach him anything, but it's um, it's just in general for everyone who is in this business or in the business. You have to be super specific, and the more specific you get, the kind of the nicer the results you're going to have, and the quicker you're going to get there. Uh, so I'm definitely not for everyone, and I'm keep reminding that to pretty much everyone that I meet. Uh, that I'm not for everyone and they have to be of specific specimen to be all uh, to be able to work with me and in, for me to work with them so be specific and don't be for everyone is another tip number two it's like it's like value bombs that I'm dropping on you and don't laugh Paula because it's for you as well you're not for everyone you have to be specific let's go and lesson number three I forgot but it was very important business lesson that I forgot to share with you and I and that's, that's it so and it's that and it's forgot. and it's ne you never going to find it out so that super important lesson that I was just about to tell you I forgot so tell them Five o'clock. A day of business meetings it has come to an end. Uh, How are you feeling? Thinking um, every day um, about business and about how to grow it, it's it's exhausting. And I never thought it's going to be that exhausting thinking about it every day and thinking about how we can make it more reliable, more bulletproof, uh, more fun. Um, and this is what I'm trying to do 
with Men's Finest. So I've uh, been meeting lots of interesting people today, lots of thoughts, lots of follow-ups, um, and it's going to be good. And it's, today it's going to take us further down the line. It's going to take us, it's going to propel us further. Uh, and I'm excited for what's coming. Uh, I'm excited how we're going to structure this. Um, it's good. Thank you so much for being uh, here. Thank you so much, Paula, for recording all of this. Um, awesome. See you next time. Lesson number three. What was lesson number three? Hold on. Weź tu minę masz. Minę jakby mnie ukryzło coś. Może ci coś ukryzło.